Okay, let's try to sort all this out. Metal Gear, would you mind helping out? Not at all. Now projecting recorded video images. Gibson calls in and you two immediately head for the abandoned factory in the M District. But when you arrived, Gibson had already been killed by someone or something at the factory. From hair and skin samples recovered from his body, you determined that the perpetrators were two snatchers. One male and one female. In addition, from a floppy disk containing notes from Gibson's investigation, you discovered that Snatchers have a crucial defect. Gibson was apparently killed because he had learned about this weak point. And this weak point is a key difference between them and real humans. Their artificial skin cannot tolerate ultraviolet rays. Long-term exposure causes it to become cancerous, a form of melanoma. This severely limits the places and times that they can operate to midwinter, when daylight hours are their shortest, and of course at night. And it looks as if it will take at least six months for them to develop a new skin which overcomes this fault. So their biggest weak point was that they had to keep themselves protected from ultraviolet rays over the past six months. Hmm, Gibson really put his earlier training as a science cop to good use in figuring this one out. And that's why they use plenty of sunscreen, even in the middle of the winter. As a result of this, it becomes clear that there is one thing they must have to continue their survival. And that is medical facilities, where they can treat artificial skin which has become cancerous. And it appears that Gibson may have located a hospital used for this very purpose. In an effort to determine where Gibson had been investigating, you analyzed his stomach contents, found buffalo meat, and headed to the only place in the city that serves it, Outer Heaven. Isabella Velvet, a dancer at this place, gives you a description, which allows you to put together a montage of the man Gibson was trying to track down. You then ran this montage through the city's data bank, using Jordan. And that gave you two suspects, Ivan Rodriguez and Freddie Nielsen. But from the condition of Ivan's skin, you determined that there was no possibility he could be a snatcher. There was no evidence at all of melanoma. But as he was in possession of Liquid Sky, you turned him over to narcotics. Following that, a search of Freddie Nielsen's home turned up large quantities of sunscreen. Nielsen's wife, Lisa Nielsen, turns out to be a snatcher, and you dispose of her. And you confirm that the skin cells found under Gibson's nails were from Lisa. Freddie Nielsen also turns out to be a snatcher, and you dispose of him as well. The hair sample that was found in Gibson's hand is confirmed as being from Freddie. So you are able to determine that these two snatchers, Freddy and Lisa, were the ones who killed Gibson. But then we have a problem. The bounty hunter who saved you, Seed, Random Hajil. An investigation uncovers that the information he provided when he filled out his bounty hunter registration was completely false. So who is this guy? Friend or foe? What about the bank account he was having his bounty deposited into? It was a common account used for paying bounty, and the funds were retransferred from there. We couldn't learn anything from it. Thank you, Metal. And now for the real fun. The hospital that Gibson had tracked down. If we can hit that, we may be able to shut down this snatch operation of theirs.
Or if we can find some kind of patient records there, we may be able to find them quite easily. So, Little John's memory might provide us with an important lead. That's right. If we're lucky, there may be something left that we can work with. Navigators record everything that junkers do, just in case. Just in case, huh? Well, this looks like one of those cases. Harry should have recovered it by now. Go see how he's doing. Seed, I'm counting on you to find this hospital. Would you like to go? Alright, let's go see Harry. This is engineering. About time you got here, Gillian. I've got little John's memory all ready for you. Well, were you able to get anything from it? Just relax. I'll put it on the monitor for you now. I'm afraid it was almost completely destroyed beyond recovery. Those snatchers, they sure do a thorough job. What do you mean? Wasn't there anything left? Like I said, just relax. I was able to get one video image out of it. I don't have the slightest what this is, but it's definitely got something to do with Jean's investigation. This is it. So, Gillian, do you uh, have any idea what this is? Hospital Olean? This is almost certainly the snatcher-controlled hospital that Gibson was looking for. You ought to run the name through Jordan, but uh, if that hospital is not legit, the data won't mean anything. This city is packed with unregistered hospitals. The sign in this picture looks curved. This word Olean might continue past the edge of the image. I've stored this image. You can view it at any time. Just use the graphic memory command in the possessions menu. Alright, let's go to... The computer room. Gillian, what? Harry suggested that we check the hospital using the Jordan system, but the Jordan system doesn't offer a hospital search facility. Really? Why do we ask Napoleon? Yes, let's ask Napoleon. This is the computer room. Let's use the video phone. Let's get Napoleon's number. What's his number? No, I haven't memorized it. What? You again? Sorry. You'd prefer a woman, I suppose. How about giving me the password? The 100 day. The 100 day rain. You pass, but we can't talk on the video phone. I'll meet you in the usual place. He hung up. What are you going to do? Well. Let's head off to Autumn Plaza. We're at the reception area. Hmm. Where shall we go? Bye bye, Mika. Take care out there, Gillian. Where would you like to go? Let's go to Autumn Plaza. What would you like to do? Let's hit the turbo cycle. This is Autumn Plaza. I wonder if Napoleon is here.
Even Santa Claus is here. The man dressed as Santa Claus is handing out tissues as an advertisement. Should we go check him out? Let's check out this Santa. Let's go. Wait a minute, you're no Santa. Uh, how'd you guess? What are you doing in that outfit? What are you talking about? That's it! Ugh, I'm quitting this job. It's too dangerous. Somebody's after me. I'm gonna end up dead, just like, like Gibson. Need some information about underground hospitals. Pauline Hospital. <laughs> Thanks, a bundle. Git. I know of an Olean Hospital. Hey, I'm not doing this for fun. Just as greedy as ever, huh? Here, take it. Got a cold bit, Napoleon. Some kind of allergy, I guess. Always get it get this way in the winter. Could be snow line, you know. It's over in the RF district. Why don't you go and check it out? It's a man-made strain that was developed by the military years ago as a defense weapon to help protect bases and the like. But wasn't the one a bit disposed of a long ago? Yeah. But I hear they somebody started cultivating it. Again, about three years ago. It's around the same time as Snatches first appeared. That's all I know, you'll have to do the rest yourself. Oh. Same place that makes those out of heaven masks. No wonder it's so realistic looking. Why don't you just go ahead and tell us who you really are? Pharmaceutical orders, eh? Kobe Pharmaceuticals? That's where Jamie works. Alright, I've had it. Don't call me anymore, okay? Wait a minute, Napoleon. I'll keep any snatchers off your back. They're after both of us. You better worry about watching your own back. Oh, by the way, here. A little Christmas present for you. What? Tissues? See ya! Merry Christmas! 
Well, now he's gone. No surprise there. He's got plenty of reason to be scared. Besides, I got the information I needed. There's an advertisement on the back of that pack of tissues. This is an ad for Outer Heaven. Just how many different jobs does that guy have? Huh. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, let's go see the Olean Hospital. Alright, now heading for Olean Hospital. Hospital Olean, actually. We've arrived at Olean Hospital. What would you like to do? Exit Turbo Cycle. This is where the Olean Hospital that Napoleon told us about. The lights are on and Signs of people inside. Legally parked cars in nearby blocking the streets. This is a hospital only. Is this really the place you're looking for? It's an automatically opening double door. Strange cries can be heard coming from the building. Just this be the snatcher facility? Covered with heavy metal screening. Ah, ha, ha. Go inside. I'll open the door. Are you ready? Yeah, go ahead. We're in the hospital. This could appear to be. This would appear to be the reception area. This one seems to be a waiting area. Hmm, everybody is holding that small animal sword. No suspicious looking types here. That woman has got a really big beehive on the top of her head. Sign says dangerous or hard to control animals must be on a leash or in a cage. Haha. <laughs> um, don't think I need to do that. really exist. Ah, but it's enough. What kind of hospital is this? What didn't you know before you came in? This is an animal hospital. What about the doctor here? Is he any good? Fully licensed doctor. He really loves animals, and he's a great surgeon. There are numerous posters. Let's have a sniff. Whew. Really smells in it. It's the odor of given by these animals and their byproducts. Basically, they're farting. The receptionist is doing some paperwork behind the counter. Looks like they take insurance. 
kind of feels. Did I get that? I've got to investigate the animals then. Please, Gillian, I have real trouble with animals. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I wish you would look at Hmm. Oh, spare me. And there are birds. Snatchers cannot tolerate dogs. It is improbable that this is their skin cancer treatment center. Looks like we barked up the wrong tree here. So, uh, now we're back to square one, huh? Don't become too discouraged. We still have many leads. Let's head back to the turbo cycle. Lean Hospital. Unfortunately, this wasn't the place. You're right, Metal. Okay, let's go. Right, uh, let's go back to um, Junker HQ. All right, now head in headquarters. Um, no, I'm doing this wrong, aren't I? I need to go to my apartment. I don't need to go back to HQ. We've arrived at your house. Uh, let's exit. This is what I want to do. Alright, choose the video for right. Jamie's number should be There's no answer. Apparently no one is at home. Uh, three nine five six. Oh, my God, a snatcher. Bet I surprised you, huh? Don't worry, this is just a tape. I'm at work right now. If you need to reach me, please call Neo Kobe Pharmaceutical Labs at 391009. Sorry to scare you. Bye! She really had me there for a moment. She really had me for a moment there. One way or the other. I'm fully aware Jamie has snatched your heart. I can't believe I rank Napoleon. <laughs> Three, nine, one. Neo Kobe Pharmaceutical Labs, can I help you? Huh? Oh, it's you, Gillian. What's going on? Please ask Jamie for her assistance. 
Yeah, we need to know if she has any ideas about black market hospitals. Let's cut to the chase. Well, having facilities to treat ultraviolet ray exposure is nothing rare. Do. Find anything about the hospital, I'll give you a call. Thank you. Still can't believe I called Napoleon. <laughs> Righty, now we'll jump into the turbo cycle. Gillian, it's the emergency line from HQ. I'll connect you. Gillian, I'm glad I got you. I got a call from Katrina. She said she has something she needs to give you. Something to give me? What in the world? She seemed really scared. Kept saying that Alice was barking. When did she call? About 30 minutes or so ago. Damn. Gillian, we should hurry. Yeah, Katrina's in trouble. Right, let's get to Gibson's house on the double. Exit Turbo Cycle! We've arrived at Gibson's house. What would you like to do? Are you here? Yeah. There's no answer. Oh no. Huh? It's not locked. Let's go inside. Into Gibson's living room. Where is she? What's this? I thought. This was a window, but there's another shelf here. The model of a house is on the shelf. It's a music box. There is nothing inside it. It's a perfect miniature of Gibson's house. It's made from a cast. This detail is excellent. What the? What a shambles! The statues, they must have been looking for something. Must have been shorted out. Very rare item. This is the garden. Huh? Where's Alice? Alice is missing too.
Look, there's a car on the ground. It appears that something was tracked along the ground here. It's definitely the one Alice was wearing. It's nothing unusual. It seems too quiet. No way she would have gotten that without going through the study. It's almost too quiet. I'm not picking up anything on infrared or on my motion detectors. It appears to have been torn apart. It's unusual. There's no way Alice would have got enough strength to do this. Snow Nine? Wait a moment, let me analyze the air in the room. Analyse com analysis complete. Very slight amount, but there are definitely traces of Snow Nine. Use extreme caution. The signal is coming from outside the window. It's Alice! The dog is dead. Body temperature suggests it was killed about ten minutes ago. No doubt the work of Snatchers. Scum! No reason to kill the poor animal. Katrina! Where's Katrina? We can leave the cleanup here to the junk crews. We should look for Katrina. Judging from the mess they made here, it looks like they were looking for something. We're quite upset that they couldn't find it. Perhaps that means that Katrina is still safe. That's true. If they had her, then there'd be no need to turn the place upside down like this. Perhaps Katrina took whatever they were looking for and fled. I bet you're right, Metal. We've got to find her before they do. Let's get back to the turbo cycle. Alright, let's go to Walton Plaza. We've arrived at Autumn Plaza. What would you like to do? It's a turbo cycle. This is Autumn Plaza. Just look for Katrina. Let's look elsewhere. Why do you, why don't we stop by the apartment? Good idea. Might be worthwhile to search the neighborhood. Let's go, Meadow.
Wait a sec. My lights are on. That's weird. I know I shut them off before I left. Be careful. A snatcher may be in your apartment. Searching the place, maybe? I don't have any evidence up there. It's hard to tell from here, but the lights are definitely on. Alright, now we're testing the building security system. It's open. I know I looked at before I left. I'll open the door. Are you ready? Yeah, open it. This is the living room. I hear something. This time I can hear it too. I read motion. Something is in there. All right, Metal. Lock the front door. We're not letting anything out of here. Everything seems to have been stolen. At least I haven't been robbed. Something sharp? A snatcher? That's a that possibility exists. Sound seems to be coming from the bathroom. Hmm, what's that smell? A snatcher? Oh. I'm not sure, I smelled it somewhere before. This is the bathroom. Mm. No, wrong button. Okay, let's prepare ourselves. I'll open the blinds by altering the electrical polarity. Are you ready? Okay, go ahead. All right, now opening the blinds. Whoa! -ho -ho! You pervert! Get out of here! I hope you learned your lesson, Gillian. Uh, 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 <laughs> you definitely had that coming to you. Oh, yeah? Well, I didn't exactly see you close your eyes either. That is because my optical sensors are not equipped with retractable shutters. Oh, shut up. You know exactly what I mean. Here comes Katrina. I can't believe you did that, Gillian! Uh, well, uh, you see, I was just... Face up to it like a man. You shut up! I'm just glad that you're safe, Katrina. I was so frightened. I just looked up your address and I let myself in. I'm sorry. Did I surprise you? Surprise me? <laughs> you bet you surprised me. I'm sorry. That's all right. Uh, by the way, uh, how did you get in? Hey, I'm the daughter of a junker. I can pick locks in my sleep. I see. And you avoided the censors as well. Hmm. You may have a promising career ahead of you. <gasps> Ooh. Great A pervert. <laughs> right. Oscar range. Um, I'm gonna do that. About a phone call. 
That's right. When I was straight in the living room, I found this inside. That model. Oh, yeah. It's a list of hospitals. It appears to be a list of illicit hospitals. Illicit medical facility, sorry. Then a snatches place. One that Gibson found must be on this list. Search the house. 3,000 places listed on them. We could never hit all of them. Take a look at that list. Okay. What name does Olin bring to mind? Okay. Alrighty. I don't have to give the name. The sign said Olin didn't it? You put the name of the hospital that you want to search for. Okay, right. If you watched um, Act 1, what did Gibson have in the jacket pocket? Packet. Junker Headquarters. He had a queen from a chessboard. Here, Queen's Hospital. You found it, Gillian. Ta da! What's the address of that hospital? CX District, PHC 77. The director is Chinese. Name, Jin Shu O. Hmm. Chin Shu O. He's probably a snatcher too. So we've finally found their nest. Gillian, please be careful. Don't worry, Katrina. You're safe now. They won't be coming after you. Just to be on the safe side, we will have Kobe police take you into protective custody. Gillian, I'm sorry about the way I reacted in the shower. Maybe if your timing had been a little better, we might have... Don't worry about it, Katrina. I think I needed a cold shower anyway. I'm... I'm just so confused. I don't want to lose anybody else. All right, let's go, Metal. We have to pay a visit to Queen's Hospital. Alrighty, let's go to Queen's. This is it? Alright, now head to Queen's Hospital. We've arrived at Queen's Hospital. What would you like to do? Let's exit. This is Queen's Hospital. That sign. That's the one that was in Little John's memory. Open the door. We 
longer inside the hospital. Awfully dark. There's a reception booth in the centre of the lobby. Three doors along the side. There are no tracks in the dust that would indicate recent passage. There's nobody in the booth. The monitors are switched off. The door is closed. I'm not picking up any movement. There's nobody else in the area. for the doors over there. Okay, doors one, two, and three are open. It's looking actually. Let's move to door one. We have room one. Hiding in here. We're in room two. It appears to be some kind of ex research facility for biological experiments. Let's go into the hallway. It's totally dark in here, I can't see a thing. Turn on light. It's a completely ordinary vase. It's a vase. There are no flowers in it. It's a whiteboard. Nothing's written on it. Copy protect protection device. Pushing it doesn't seem to do any really good budge. Something on the desk. It's a box of matches. Why? They're from outer heaven. Seems to be quite a popular spot with our snatcher friends. I'll store these as evidence. It's a monitor, designed to be used with a computer. It's a monitor. It's a drawer. It's investigate. There seems to be a scrap of paper caught between these two drawers. The others are empty. It appears that someone tried to straighten up in a hurry. Let me see that paper. Here it is. What? What is this? It looks like Chinese or something. Metal translated. Okay. Let's see. Patient record. First examination. I'm not familiar with the next five characters. It's the first time I've ever seen any of them. I thought you were supposed to be really good at Chinese. My strongest areas are in Chop Suey, Egg Fu Young, and Wontons. Hmm. Rare Chinese characters. Or maybe some kind of code? At any rate, this is definitely part of someone's chart. If we can figure out these characters, we may be able to uncover another Snatcher. What do you suppose happened to the other records? Looks like someone cleaned them out of here. Uh, maybe they knew we were coming. Somehow I get the feeling that the Snatchers know what we're up to. I'll store the fragment of the file. It's a very old photograph. Judging from the condition of the inks and paper, I'd suspect suspects it's at least 50 years old. Just can't remember. I've stored this photo. Good. Let's take a look in the hallway. Alright, let's get out of here.
Okie dokie. Alright, what we need to do, we need to ring up our Chinese Santa to see if he can translate that Chinese memo. And seeing as I remembered his number accidentally before. The number you have reached is not in service at this time. Please check the number and dial again. This is a recording. JT and T Neo Kobe. That's funny, I'm sure I got the phone number right. Perhaps the snatchers have killed Napoleon too. Uh, what's that what's the symbol? Looks vaguely familiar. Wolfman? Aha! Now I understand. I know where Napoleon is. Haven't you figured it out yet? Alright, let's go to Outer Heaven. Exit Turbo Cycle. This is out of heaven. Hmm. <laughs> Swervy attitude of yours is just like him. That's no proof. <laughs> That's proof that I'm a policeman. safer in a crowded place like this. Jeez, you really had me fooled. Two rolls in one. Cousin <laughs> tight. Well, you know, you gotta understand. Being an informer isn't exactly the safest job on the planet, you know. That's why it's important to be a master of disguise, like me. Yeah, but I feel pretty stupid. I mean, all that time I was asking you about where Jean went, I didn't realize I was asking someone who actually worked there. Hey, I was just as surprised as you were. But I didn't know that Gibson had been here. You see, I wasn't working that day. Anyhow, it's not masquerade night today. Uh, why don't you take that mask off, Napoleon? It's a little unnerving sitting here talking to a wolf. Uh, alright. I suppose there's no harm there. Boy, ugh, you really work up a sweat in these full-face masks. Oh! Boy, uh, maybe you should have left that on. What? Ah, uh, uh, still, you did a nice job of figuring out who I was. Come on, Napoleon. That stupid phone recording with the Wolfman? JT&T would never do anything that tasteless. Besides, what really tipped me off was that constant sneezing of yours. Sneezes, eh? Well, listen, you want me to tell you why I'm called Napoleon? Because winter gets the best of you. Napoleon Bonaparte sent his enormous army into Russia in 1812, but suffered a major defeat because of the snow. Oh, I get it. 
Yeah, the, the sneezing isn't a cold. It's my allergy to Snow Nine Pollen. So, anyhow, what did you want to know? I've got a couple of questions to ask you. Eh, fire away. Okay. All right, for showing that, it's part of the patient farm. Are you showing me this for? I don't know the first thing about medicine. You're Chinese, right? Purebred, my dad. So he's Chinese. I'm not surprised you have trouble with this. What's that mean? These are Chinese characters for chemical elements, hardly in standard use. What's this about Chinese chemical element characters? What do you mean? The character on the far left is beryllium, the next one and the very last one are nitrogen, the third one stands for sulfur, and the fourth one is oxygen. Beryllium, nitrogen, sulfur, oxygen? I've got it! Okay, it's in fur. Okay, beryllium is BE, nitrogen is N, sulfur is S, oxygen is O, N is nitrogen. So that's it. Benson, beryllium is BE, nitrogen is N, sulfur is S, and oxygen is O. And another N makes Benson. The name Benson was encoded on this file. Benson, I sure hope it is not referring to the chief, Benson Cunningham. Or to our friendly engineer, Mr. Harry Benson. Couldn't be. No way! But the possibility, though remote, does exist. Metal, I want you to cut off all your data transmissions to headquarters now. Understood. Now disabling automatic transmission routines. Done. No further data transmissions to headquarters will be executed. My god. A snatcher in Junker headquarters? We've got to get there quick. Let's go, Metal! See you later, Junker. Today's little information tidbit is on me. Now take care, Gillian. Don't get yourself taken out by some snitch. I think I'll lay low for a while. You know, after all, you are my main source of income. You be careful too, Napoleon. You get killed and you won't be able to sneeze anymore. What's that supposed to mean? See you, Napoleon. Metal, let's go. Right, let's go to HQ. All right, now head in for Junker Headquarters. Exit Turbo Cycle. This is the reception area. Hi Gillian, how was your day? Mika, the Chief and Harry are out. The Chief and Harry are out right now. Oh really? Have you been able to contact Katrina yet? No, she's back at the apartment. I don't know this again, Mika. I've broken the code that was on the patient record. In other words, I've uncovered a possible snatcher. But that is someone I know, isn't it? I don't know the forename. The name Benson was written on the file. In other words, Benson, Cunningham, the chief, or our friendly engineer, Harry Benson. Harry's out right now. He seemed to be going after his chief when he left. He had to check on something. He's been a little restless lately. He seemed to be investigating something. is out right now. I don't know when he'll be back. The 
Chief has been really busy lately. He'll be attending the Kyoto Summit next month. And he's had a lot of meetings and stuff related to that. The Kyoto Summit, what's that? It's the annual summit of the leaders of the world's advanced countries. It'll be taking place in Old Kyoto this year. One of the topics on this year's agenda is the Snatcher Minutes. Sorry. Hey, what do you think? You know? I think the chief. I really love and trust all of you. She loves me. <laughs> Alright, let's go and investigate. It's not it at the moment, so either the chief or Harry is a snatch. Let's look for evidence. We have to proceed with the investigation. The chief is out at the moment. The monitor is switched off. It's unusual. First time I've ever seen it switched off. I'm not really sure, but it appears to be just a picture of a flower vase. The chair's surface temperature is quite low. It's really rare for the chief to be out. Is he busy? Preparation is for the summit? Something's funny here. Most of the monitors are quite cold. This has always bothered me. Don't you think this picture seems a little out of place with the atmosphere of this room? Yeah. That's always bugged me too. Where would you like to go? Let's go to engineering. This is engineering. Harry's not in. So both of them are out. Right, let's try this last one. It's a poster of a famous pop star from the previous century. There's something on the desk. There's a box of matches and a promo. It's a box of matches that Outer Heaven gives away. What? Outer Heaven matches? Harry has Outer Heaven matches? It's in Harry's handwriting. I wonder if, if, if this is some kind of message. Outer Heaven's logo appears on the box. Harry is the only one in your headquarters who smokes. I can't believe that Harry might be a snatcher. But he had matches from Outer Heaven. No, I can't believe that Harry could be a snatcher. Let's hang on to these. They would not be necessary, they are identical to the ones we already have. It says face to face. Face to face? Hang on to this. Alright. Store this as evidence. Cool. Where would you like to go? Let's go back to the Chief's office. He's not here at the moment. Wait a minute. Can you notice anything odd about this picture? Look. Doesn't it look like a face to you? A face? I don't get it. Look, it looks like a vase. Look at this, I thought it was just a picture of a vase. If you reverse the background and the drawing, it's two faces, face to face. That must be the face to face that Harry would be written on a member. Flipped over to reveal a photograph. I've seen this somewhere before, I just can't recall. What would a picture like this be doing here? Based on the condition of the inks, I would judge this photograph to be at least 50 years old. Who was this picture taken? We're now searching the day who this. Found it. This is a photograph of Red Square in Moscow, taken sometime before the catastrophe. Red Square? What's a picture like that doing in the chief's office? Someone planted it here. 
Which one is the Snatcher? Maybe it's a trap. As always, I have a video phone call from Jamie. I'll connect you. Gillian, it's me, Jamie. Listen carefully. You know that Queen's Hospital? I found out that they undertook a major expansion project in 2035 to put in a basement. That's right, they have a basement. Basement construction is really unusual here in Neo Kobe. That's why there were still records of it. But there's more. The director of that hospital, Shin Shu Ho, has had his license suspended in the past for performing eugenics experiments at an illicit underground facility. Are you telling me Queens has underground treatment facilities? That has to be it, Gillian. Shin Shu Ho is performing skin operations on Snatchers Underground. And that means that Chin himself is also probably a Snatcher. Or rather, the real Chin, the original Chin, was snatched. So, that entire ground level complex is just a front for the underground facilities. And if we hit that hospital, we can ruin the Snatcher's plans. Well, this is it, Metal. We're heading right into the enemy's headquarters this time. Gillian? Yeah? This sounds really dangerous. I just wanted you to know... I want you to come home safe. Jamie... The reason I left you is because I thought you were pushing yourself too hard, being self-destructive, and it seemed like the wedding ring you were wearing when they found us had become a tremendous burden on you. I didn't want that to be the only reason we stayed together. Oh, Jamie, I never felt that way at all. I'll be waiting for you. We may not have our memories, but you are the only one I've ever shared any time with. Be careful, Gillian. Jamie. Are you all right, Gillian? Yeah. All right, Metal, let's go. We have to pay a visit to Queen's Hospital. Her Majesty is waiting. We've boarded the turbo cycle. Where would you like to go? Queen's Hospital. Alright, setting course at Queen's Hospital. Just where do you think you're going? This is most unusual. The turbo cycle seems to be out of control. Switch over to manual. I'll take over. Understood. I've switched to manual control. Well, how is it? What the? We've got no brakes! Metal, check the brake system out. Pronto! Sorry, Gillian. Looks like sabotage. No doubt the Snatcher's handy work. Sabotage? But the only one who could work on the turbo cycle... Worry about that later. Gillian, we've got to do something quickly. Let's try and jump. You cannot be serious. We'll be torn to pieces. Are you giving up? No way. Pull that lever over there. Alright, here goes. It broke off. I guess we've had it. Let's give up. Gillian has give up. Now yeah, we are truly doing. Shut up, will you? I'll think of something. You can't be serious. At this speed, you, you'll be torn to pieces. There's nothing we can do. Don't give up so easily. There might be just some way out of this shit. Damn. 
Isn't that the most stop it? Let's try plowing this thing into that sand pile over there. Won't anything work? Alright. And a good good morning to you, my friend Bud Miller with you here on the big 90.7. Looks like we're gonna have a bright. You turned the radio on, Gillian. What are you doing? Right, I'll try another bud. Perhaps this is switch for the afterburner. Oops. You boosted our frost by 23%. Do something, Gillian. We're finished. It's been nice knowing you, Gillian. You must be something. It's hopeless. We're moving at over 200 kilometers. Damn, the speed keeps increasing. Well, Meadow, I've been knowing you for very long, but it's been fun. Let's pray together. That's it. Pray, I look, the new command has appeared on the menu. Damn, uh, what else can we do? Metal, start punching buttons. Any buttons at all? Yes, yes, push anything. Gillian, this doesn't seem to be doing any good. Damn, I was sure that would work. Gillian, the road makes a sharp right turn just 1,500 meters ahead. At this speed, we'll never make it. Gillian, Gillian! Hey, Gillian! Huh? Over here! What's that? Gillian, over here! Random! Gillian, you've got to jump over to my bike! Hurry! 800 meters until we reach the curve. Metal, you go first! What? Not again! Move your butt! That curve's just ahead! Understood. One, two, three! All right, Gillian, now it's your turn. Keep her steady. 300 meters until you reach the curve. Gillian, jump! I can't! My timing's off, I... 150 meters! Gillian, now! 70 meters! Now, Gillian, now! Oh, we're too late! <laughs> Gillian! I, I guess he didn't make it. Don't bury me so fast, I'm right here! Don't you even know how to ride a motorcycle? Gillian, it's not much farther to Queen's Hospital, and you could probably use the exercise anyway. Why don't we just continue the rest of the way like this? We've arrived at Queen's Hospital. So, this is the place, huh? Random, are you sure you know what you're doing? This isn't going to be a field trip, you know. We may not come back. And the bounty for this one will more than make up for it. If you're around to spend it, that is. Gillian, let's get going. Let's go inside. Lock disabled. All right, Random, let's go. Ready for anything. Inside the hospital, it's really quiet in here. There has to be an entrance to the lower level in here somewhere. Yep. Okay, yeah, let's try switching my light on, shall we? All right. Turn your light on. Yes, sir. Coming on. Face to face. What's this? Face to face. I bet this face is some kind of switch. Alright, I will try lifting it up. Oh. 
disc slid to one side, revealing a stairway leading down. This apparently leads down to a lower level. It looks like Jamie was right. Queen's Hospital does have a basement. And that basement is the Snatcher's main lair. Out of the frying pan and into the fire, as they say. Well, what do we do now, Gillian? Pete. It appears to go straight down. Unlike the hallway, these stairs don't have any dust on them. In other words, our friend uses the right. Don't read anything at the moment. It's a very narrow stairway. We'll have to go down single file. Okay, uh, who's going to take the point? That's obvious! The guy with the light! Hey, that's not fair! <laughs> well, well, what do we have here? It's the hospital corridor. It's the same hallway, but not the one that's on the first floor. So what does that mean? An entire floor of Queen's Hospital has been duplicated underground. So the same floor is both upstairs and downstairs. Sort of like parallel worlds. So that desolate setup upstairs is all just a smokescreen. They're making it look like the place is closed down, but in reality, they're keeping themselves quite busy. Gillian, that means we're already right in the middle of their headquarters. Please use extreme caution. Let's look around. It's a reception booth in the middle of the floor. Everything is exactly the same. It's like we jumped through time or something. It's been polished quite meticulously. I think it comes to us at all. Any movement. We are the only ones in the area. It's waxed rather nicely. Just can't imagine a bunch of snatches crawling around, waxing floors. There are switches here to open the doors. What's this? Unlike the first floor, there are only two door switches. Three. It says morgue. Morgue, as in where dead people, where, where dead bodies are kept. All right, I'll push switch number one. Door number two open. All right, let's check out the first room. We're in room one. The lights are on. There's an operating table. Actually, let's just... It's a snatcher. Don't scare me like that, it's just a specimen. It's rather grotesque, it's somewhat distorted. For a medical model, it's quite inaccurate. When you look at them like this, there isn't that much, much between them and humans, is there? Let's, get Let's go out in the hall. We're in the hospital hallway. Let's go to room two. Let's have a look in the second room. Yeah, I'm room two. Look at this, some kind of testament equipment is running. Gets on my nerves. It's well equipped. Microsurgery system. There's a number of jars. 
people from my house. I have a number of chemicals. A number of machines for biotech experiments. Samples of mutated cells and all good to tumors. Argon lasers, argon dye lasers. Dated? What do you mean by dated? Most of these methods were abandoned years ago. 20 to 30 years behind the times. Let's get out of here. You're all right, random. Let's try back in here. All right. Let's, uh, all right, let's look over the entire room. Okay, still a specimen up there. Picking up any movement. At least not anymore. Right, ah! What the hell? It was definitely there a moment ago. I read movement. Watch it. Blah, blah. Did I get it? The snatcher's functions have been terminated. There's no doubt now that this is their maintenance facility. This one was probably still waiting to get its artificial skin installed. So this is what they really look like, huh? Yeah, that's the scariest thing about them. You can't tell them from real people once they've got that skin on. Perhaps that's humanity's great weakness. We're always judging books by their cover. And it's just that human weakness that they're out to take advantage of. All right, Random. Metal, let's go. The HQ's junk squad can take care of him later. We've got an investigation to do. Oh, no. I think it's definitely dead, uh, terminated this time. Yes, all its functions have ceased. I don't read any residual energy either. Impressive! Looks like I misjudged you, Junker. Let's get on with the investigation. So we're just down to room number three. Oh no. There are only two buttons here. There are only two buttons. Maybe it could be open using those two buttons. Uh, should now. Try pushing both buttons simultaneously. The two buttons are on opposite panels, so there's no way one person can push them both alone. But if two of us work together, it might do it. That's it, Gillian. It makes perfect sense. It's the same system they used to use in nuclear missile silos in the late 20th century. 
eliminates the risk of one man going nuts and acting alone. Well, it's hard to be sure, but let's give it a try anyway. I've got button one. Random, you push number two. You ready? On three. One, two, three. Come on! You did it! Door number three opened. With safety measures like that, they must have had a good reason for wanting to keep it closed. Right, let's go. Are you ready, random? Let's have a look in the last room. Good God! I read four human skeletons in this room. It's... it's their morgue! Perhaps victims of the Snatchers? Well, it doesn't look like whoever put them here was too worried about making sure they would rest in peace. No, it doesn't. These have got to be their victims. This is probably where they hide the bodies of the originals they snatch from places like Outer Heaven. They probably picked Outer Heaven because it gets a lot of VIP traffic. Plus, during masquerade time, they could work the place and still keep their identities secret. Yeah, and the guy who set up the link between them and Outer Heaven was Freddy. That taxi driver. They must have gone after him, not because of who he was, but what he did. After all, with a taxi, there's plenty of chances to milk your customers for information. That's probably how they learned about Outer Heaven and Plato's Cavern. I'd been wondering what they had done with the bodies. Wanna hide a book? What better place than the library? Need to hide a body? How about the morgue? And for them, keeping the bodies hidden is crucial. I mean, if somebody who's supposed to be dead is out walking the streets, it wouldn't be too hard to figure out that something screwy is going on. That means that if we can figure out who these bodies were, then we've just nailed four Snatchers. Oh yeah. Okay. It appears to have been a proper walk one time. Cover in the dark. It's been weakened. One of the bodies is still decomposing. The other three are more than that. Number of different insects and lava have been infested with the body. It's definitely a human. Insects. the identity. Hair, clothing, even teeth. Anything that can be used to make an identification is gone. Damn snatches. They've been deliberately misaligned to prevent identification. I guess we'll never be able to ID them. There is a way. What? How? We can perform a simulated reconstruction. Fortunately, the skulls of the victims are still intact. Reconstruction, huh? Good idea. Now performing simulated reconstruction of the head and facial features of each of the four victims. Commencing with victim number one. Now performing craniometric analysis. X-ray and sagittal X-ray, magnetic resonance imaging, and positron CT data gathered. Complete cranial data now being compiled. Craniometric analysis complete. Now commencing reconstruction. First, victim's age. Estimate based on one, presence or absence of cranial fontanelles and chroma of epicranial sutures. Two, area of facial region and cranium. Three, height of upper and lower jaw and development of alveolar part. And four, location of cranial center of gravity. Next, victim sex. Estimate based on one, overall size of cranium, two, parietal bone angle, and three, development of splachnocranium. 
Lastly, victim's race. Estimate based on one, overall cranial configuration, two, volume of intracranial cavity, and three, mass of the skull. Now commencing soft feature reconstruction based on average results of above analysis. Reconstructing. Initial phase completed. Margin of error on estimate of victim's race, 10% based on use of average values. Now adding postulated hair and eye features. Reconstruction of head of first victim completed. It's Freddie Nielsen. Moving on to second victim. Now commencing reconstruction of features of victim number two. Now starting craniometric analysis. Complete cranial data now being compiled using the same techniques as the previous reconstruction. Craniometric analysis complete. Now commencing reconstruction using the same techniques as the previous reconstruction. Reconstructing. Initial phase completed. Margin of error on estimate of victim's race 10% based on use of average values. Now adding postulated hair and eye features. Reconstruction of head of second victim completed. That's Lisa Nielsen. Moving on to third victim. Now commencing reconstruction of features of victim number three. Now starting craniometric analysis. Complete cranial data now being compiled using the same techniques as the previous reconstruction. Craniometric analysis complete. Now commencing reconstruction using the same techniques as the previous reconstruction. Reconstructing. Initial phase completed. Margin of error on estimate of victim's race 10% based on use of average values. Now adding postulated hair and eye features. Reconstruction of head of third victim completed. Who in the world is that? That's the director of Queen's Hospital, uh, Shin Fui, uh, what's his face, uh... Chin Chu O Gillian. Moving on to last victim. Now commencing reconstruction of features of victim number four. This one's the most recent. It's still decomposing. Now starting craniometric analysis. Complete cranial data now being compiled using the same techniques as the previous reconstruction. Craniometric analysis complete. Now commencing reconstruction using the same techniques as the previous reconstruction. Reconstructing. Initial phase completed. Margin of error on estimate of victim's race 10% based on use of average values. Now adding postulated hair and eye features. Reconstruction of head of final victim completed. It's... it's the Chief! What? The Chief is a snatcher! The Benson on the scrap of that patient record was Benson Cunningham! Judging from the condition of the body, I would estimate that the snatching took place approximately one month ago. So it was the Chief who sabotaged our turbo cycle. In those matches we found in Harry's room, the Chief must have put them there to try to set him up. No doubt Harry figured it out and decided to leave that face-to-face -face message. Wait a minute. Didn't Mika say that Harry had left to go find the Chief? That's right. He was probably trying to track down some evidence on the Chief. Gillian, I'd say that this Harry has put himself in a pretty dangerous spot. If it was the Chief that sabotaged the turbo cycle, doesn't that mean that he already knows we're onto him? Damn! Harry and Mika are in danger! That's far enough, Junker. Your little investigation is over. It's them! Who? Snatchers? Get them! My arm! I can't reach my blaster! Uh, I'm hitting the leg! Is that the best you can do, Junker? Who's who's there? Chin! Jin Shuo, you scum! It seems you still have some fight left in you. You two are finished. But our plans move forward. We are now entering phase two. And when we do, not only this city, but the entire world will be ours to command. Phase two? What are you talking about? As you know, our operations have been hindered up to now by the flaws in our artificial skin. The skin's shortcomings have kept us away from ultraviolet rays, forcing us to do our work at night, underground, or in the winter. In the end, 
we had to construct a hospital like this, all because of the flaws in our artificial skin. This was the only difference between us and you humans. But now we have broken this barrier. Huh? We are on the verge of developing a perfect artificial skin, thanks to the cooperation of a new partner in our plan. Perfect artificial skin? Uh, a new partner? Once we have the new skin, nothing will be able to stop us. And with that, our plan moves to phase two. Our little experiment in this city will end, and we'll move in force to take over the world. Don't be so sure. You won't get out of the city that easy. <laughs> you humans are always so overconfident, so naive. What are you talking about? I'm sure you're aware that the Kyoto Summit, being held to decide how to handle this nature problem, opens tomorrow. Metal, is that right? Yes. Countries around the world are concerned about the Snatcher problem. It will be one of the main topics discussed at this year's summit. That's right. Tomorrow, we attack the summit. <laughs> you must be crazy. The security there will be incredible. You won't even get close. Must I explain everything to you, Junker? Aren't you even aware that a fellow Junker will be giving a special presentation at the summit? The Chief! Cunningham! So that's why you snatched him. We've known that your Chief would be speaking at the summit for over three months now. Gillian, the summit is tomorrow. We have to hurry. Listen, we have your Chief. You Junkers are at our mercy, and so is this city. And tomorrow, we move on the world! <laughs> Nothing can stop us now. We will finally achieve our long-awaited goal of global domination. <laughs> Who is this we you keep talking about? We? We are an evolved life form. Given life in the depths of the Kremlin by our creator, Modnar. We are a new race. Modnar? Modnar? The Kremlin, those names are familiar, but... Our goal is to snatch all of the world's leaders and then achieve total control of human thought and worldwide racial unification. You're insane. Humanity won't be so easily dominated. You underestimate the strength of the human spirit. I think not. In the same way as the Nazis, our strategy begins with the overpowering of the spirit of the people. We will strike at you humans' weakest point, the most primitive part of your psychological makeup, your suspiciousness and fear. By provoking suspicion and mistrust throughout the populace, we will destroy that fragile fabric which holds your society together, that of trust. Fear is you humans' weak point. It is the primitive part of your brains that binds you forever to your animal ancestors and makes you vulnerable. By stimulating that part of your atavistic instincts, our plan can succeed magnificently. Gillian, at this rate, they'll kill us all. You've got to get out alive. You're a junker. Just one of you have in mind. I've got a big fireworks show ready for him. Better that than get snatched. What? You're gonna blow yourself up? No, we're better off fighting together. Hey, it won't work. I'm hitting the thigh. Ow, oh, damn. A bounty hunter can't do anything with a leg wound like this. I might as well have been shot in the head. There must be some way out of here. Hey, I wasn't doing this job just for fun. I stayed ready for situations like this. I've always been prepared to go out with a bang. It's December. A little late for fireworks. So it'll be an off-season show. No, I can't let you. My belt's packed with TNTPX. You know, that really strong stuff they use in the mines on Mars? One push, and this whole hospital will go. No trouble at all. No time to sit around thinking, Junker Boy. Go! 
What are you doing? Get your butt moving, you fool. Get out through this air shaft. I've got a powerful strobe on me. Its flash will screw up their sensors long enough for you to get out. Now you with me? Fireworks are better from a distance anyway, Gillian. Are you two finished chatting? Then I think it's time for you to die. We're quite busy, you know. You ready? When I give the signal, break into the air shaft and run, and don't forget your blaster. Metal, stay with me. Yes, sir. Random. Gillian. Doesn't look like I'm gonna have a chance to call in that debt you owe me. Don't worry. I'll pay it back to the Snatchers with interest. All right, go! Run, Gillian! Okay. I I I I I I'm I'm ma 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 I'm I'm in alien. I think. Metal. Something broken. I'll be 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 okay, but it appears that language circuits have been d d d d d d d d damaged somewhat. What happened? Random blew himself up after getting us into this air shaft. Random. Gillian, that explosion should have taken all of Queen's Hospital with it. The thick walls of this duct must have shielded us from enough of the blast. If it wasn't for Random, we wouldn't have made it. Oh, Random. Gillian, we have no time for grief now. We must get back to Junker Headquarters as quickly as possible. Harry and Mika are in danger. You're right. And I have to keep my promise to Random. But first, we have to figure out how to get out of here. I can't see a thing. What should we do? Uh, after all that, let's turn on the light. Metal, turn your light on, will you? I was waiting for you to ask. Let there be light. Well, let's try moving forward. There could be snatches waiting for us. Please use extreme caution. How far does this thing go? Are you sure this is this has an exit? There are some kind of scratches here. Scratches. Check them out. Both right and left side of the walls have lots of scratches on them. There's a saying card it bumped into them. It looks like it continues for some distance. My light isn't powerful enough. It appears to continue on. Reinforcing bars formed of level 4 hardness steel alloy have been installed. It's quite strong. That's what saved us, huh? Guess we should bank them. Seems it's not just a simple air duct. Some sand here. How did the bisque get here? For an air duct, the quantity of dust is quite low. That means that the thing was used quite regularly. Ah, Gillian, it's Snow Nine. All right, now analyze in sand. Iron particles, high quantities of phosphorus. This type of sand is particularly up to the M district. Huh? Around the old factory. It's caused by the scraping of a very hard claw-like object. A snatcher? Maybe they were using this as some kind of shortcut. Right. You picking anything up? Uh. Please pray for us. I can hear the sound of water flowing. It must be close. I had it soon.
It's probably correct. Looks like the Snatchers have been using it as their way around. Here we go, let's advance. Alright, continuing forward. Jeez, this thing just keeps going. Insectors, Gillian, use your blaster. You gotta be kidding. in any motion. Ah. That was a close one, wasn't it? Yeah, four hits, months worse. I'm over in staying with. Staring right through the pearly gates, done in sexes, must be the security for this area, which means that at the end of this duct. Within any more motion, let's move on. Look, a way out. Receive Gillian. My lord. They let your guard down. What in the world? This is part of the tube liner, the city's long abandoned subway system. You mean Queen's Hospital and this were connected? Yes, it would appear that the Snatchers were using this to move from place to place. This would provide them with the perfect way to move about while still avoiding the ultraviolet rays they hate so much. We should have realized this sooner. The city is crisscrossed by the tube liner's old lines, and since they are abandoned, the Snatchers could move undetected as well. Aha! Uh -huh. That's how those two we caught a glimpse of at the abandoned factory where Gibson was killed were able to disappear so quickly. They must have used this subway. That would appear to be correct. The tube liner passes underneath that factory site as well. That would also explain why sand from the factory was in the air duct at the hospital. So this is the trick they were using to stay out of the sun and avoid being seen while they moved around. Now we know why it took so long to uncover them. Alright, let's follow the subway. We should be able to get out when we get to the nearest station. How far does this bloody thing go? We're probably lost. I wonder where we are. Let's see what's up ahead. It appears that the tunnel continues for as far as I can see. What do you sound is that? Our own footsteps. How much further do we have to go to reach the next station? That's the area we just passed through. I see nothing out of the ordinary. Gideon, what's wrong? Look, metal, light! Yes, but this doesn't look like a station. There's a ladder. Where do you suppose it leads, Gillian? I don't have the slightest, but let's climb it and see. Alright, now climbing the ladder. We seem to have emerged into an odd place. Wait, this room. It's Freddie Nielsen's bathroom! He was using this shaft from the bathtub to get down into the subway. So that's how he did that. Ah, uh, 
yes. As I recall, after you disposed of Lisa, he somehow entered the apartment without using the regular entrance. Which he accomplished by using this secret passage into his bathtub. The bathtub must be of a double construction. The bottom is actually a lid. When they wanted to hide the passage, all they needed to do was fill the tub. And to get in and out, they would just drain the water into another tank. Jeez. Double bottom bathtubs? Abandoned subways? Snatchers really go out of their way to stay out of the sun. Okay, Gillian, let's head outside. Let's head outside. This is Freddy's living room. This is remain of it. Clear it up. It's a large scale map of Moscow. Moscow, huh? Jin Shou over at Queen's Hospital had a picture of St. Basil's Cathedral. The chief had a picture of Wet Square. What's going on here? Before the explosion, didn't Jin Shou say something about the chief and what was meant to be 55 years ago? At the depths of the Kremlin? Touch the tape lines. We're outside. Thank God, now let's get back to headquarters. Look, there's a taxi. The cab is for hire. Shall we board it? Yeah. Ride in the taxi. Right, let's board the taxi. We've ordered the taxi. Where's he, sir? We're in urgent business. Get us a Junker headquarters. Junker headquarters, huh? Why don't you want to go there? We're in a hurry. Is that some kind of joke, sir? I can't be serious. I think we picked a, we picked a weird taxi. I'm afraid not. You're going somewhere else. Want to know where that is? Where? Straight to hell. Chinshon, oh. Chinshon dead. Is he dead? He's junk now. Stubborn one, wasn't he? Jeez. He made it through that explosion and was waiting for us out here. If those things ever get control of the city, there's no way we'll ever get it back. We've got to stop them before that. And to do that, we have to prevent the chief from getting to the Kyoto summit. I know. And I have to pay back my debt to random. Let's use this taxi to get back to Junker headquarters. I planned on it. I just hope Mika and Harry are safe. We've arrived at Junker headquarters. Alright, now this is it. Final showdown. Are you ready? This is the lobby. What? The shutter is on the reception booth is closed. It appears that Sonic attacked this place. So where did Miku go? The surface of the shutter shows evidence of having been struck by fire. I read motion, something's inside the booth. Getting with the openness somehow. It's been locked from inside.
하나는 그런 것 같아요. 오픈 앤 업. 리스 앤 럭 메커니즘. All right. I'm going to open it, but please use extreme caution. Anything could be inside. Mika. Mika, are you all right? Metal, how is she? Her pulse is normal. The only external injuries are to her forehead, and they are not serious. There's been no significant blood loss. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Mika, come on, snap out of it. It's me, Gillian. Ah, uh, Gillian? Gillian? Mika, what happened? Gillian, the chief. The chief is a snatcher. So he's finally shown his true colors. Harry, Harry's... What's happened to Harry? Harry put me in the pod and sealed the main door. He locked the Snatcher in. That was smart. Not even a Snatcher can get through this shield. So where's Harry? He said keep the door sealed no matter what happens in there. And then he went in. Gillian, please help him. Harry, Mika, open the door. I'm going in. Metal, we're going in. Be careful. That snatcher could be hiding anywhere. Yes, sir. Gillian, please be careful. The chief is very cunning. Don't let your guard down. Don't worry. I'll watch myself in there. We're in the main hallway. What's this? Someone is down. That hat! Harry! Oh. Oh, Gillian. Is that you? I'm getting old. Just look at me. What happened? I saw the chief messing with your turbo cycle. And that, that weird picture in his office. Ah. Metal, how is he? Metal! I do not wish to say. Really? That bad, huh? Gillian. Gillian, when I confronted him about what I saw, he showed me what he really was. I was... I was barely able to even scratch him. That's enough, Harry. I understand. Metal, is there anything we can do for him? Gillian, I'm sorry. Harry! You'll be okay. It doesn't look like you're hurting too bad. This will work out perfect. Uh, you always were working too hard anyway. Uh, why don't you take a nice long vacation somewhere and rest up? Yeah, sure. Nice try, Gillian, but it's my body. I know I... I know I ain't gonna make it. You... You were a good kid, Gillian. Harry! I don't know how to say this right, but... But I've always had a special feeling about you. I've... I've always had trouble talking to people since I was little. Like my father. What I can remember of him... <sighs> Pulse and blood pressure falling. Harry, hang in there. Uh, you and I were gonna go out and tie one on, remember? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's... that's not a bad idea. You, me, and Jean, the three of us. But Jean is... Metal, quiet! Gillian, I've lived my life alone. I didn't know my parents or family. Always so stubborn, glued to my research. I never really trusted anybody. That was a mistake. Blood pressure continuing to fall. Harry? After... After Jean died, I, I felt it. Human warmth. Companionship. I know what you mean. Gillian, I just... I just wanted to get along with everybody. 
I don't need no Nobel Prize. For 50 years, I've been searching, trying to find something I lost. <laughs> Looks like I'll never find it now. Gillian, he's about. <laughs> Looks like I've been talking too much. It's, it's up to you now, Gillian. I'm, I'm finished. You won't forget this old grouch, will you? Harry! Gillian, Gillian, you've got to believe in yourself. You're, you're, you're the last junker. Harry! Harry! Oh, Sarah. Pupils are dying. Cutting it! Listen to me. If that snatcher gets me, you've got to take Mika and run. Then you've got to blow up Junker headquarters. Blow it sky high! You understand me? Yes, sir. I just hope it doesn't come to that. So, where should we start our search? Where to? Chief's office. Didn't read any movement. Nothing there. Where are you, snatcher? Checked all the rooms. Where could he be? Let's go through all the rooms one more time. This is the chief's office. What's this? There's something on the desk. Hmm. There's no stain like this a few moments ago. The stain was not there before. Pull the blood on the desktop. It appears that blood is dripping from the ceiling. Yes, blood is dripping from the ceiling. Why don't we investigate the ceiling? The lighting control system has been destroyed. Distance to motion readings increasing. Is he trying to run? Motion readings have vanished. You got past me this time, Snatcher. Headquarters emergency lighting has been activated. Can we find him again? We should go after him immediately. We'll find him. We know he's somewhere inside headquarters. The Snatcher has been wounded. We should look for traces of blood. Where should we go? Let's try an engineering. It's not in here. It's not in here.
It's not in here. It's not in here. Where should we go? We're in the main hallway. Damn, where is he hiding? There's no way he can get out of headquarters. There are still some rooms we haven't checked. Let's check the lobby. The lobby? You don't know. The main door has been opened. Did Mika open it? Wait, Mika's not in the pod. What happened? The lighting has been disconnected. Don't move, Seed. Cunningham, is that you? I read motion. He is definitely in here. Where are you? Show yourself. <laughs> I'm right here. I don't need to run or hide from you. Mika! No, Gillian, don't move. It's a trap. A hostage? You cowardly scum! Mika, why did you open the entrance? I don't know. I was really scared. I mean, the emergency light's coming on so suddenly. Seed, go ahead and shoot. But you'd better be a pretty good shot, or this kid goes home in a bag. Shoot, Gillian. Kill this thing. Don't worry about me. Mika! What are you going to do? I have you now, Chunker. What about? Oh. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, you kid. Sorry, Maker. The Snatcher's functions have been terminated. Mika, are you alright? Yes. Yes, I think so. Thank you. Harry? I got him. Random? Sorry it took so long, but this ought to make us even. Chunk, 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 Chunker! You may have stopped me, but it's not over yet. Gillian, this is just residual energy feedback. Its power levels are dropping rapidly. Crane's hospital was nothing more than a maintenance facility. We have comrades operating throughout the city. More than you can imagine. Now our plans will move into phase two. For that, we will enlist the help of Professor Lorraine. You? Your existence is meaningless. As long as you don't get your memory back. Good luck, Junker. My memory? Comrades? Professor Lorraine? Harry! Why, please tell me. Why do so many good people have to die? Mika! This is all wrong. Mika, don't worry. I won't let anybody else die. I've made a promise to Harry and Random. But the city is still full of snatchers. This fight is just beginning. Gillian, I have an urgent video call from Jamie. I'll connect you. Gillian, I've got my memory back. I remember everything. Your memory? Uh, so what about us, Jamie? Who are we? Gillian, it's terrible. What we've done... Jamie, what's wrong? I can't tell you something like this over the video phone. I would have been better off never remembering. Okay, Jamie, calm down. I'll head out right now. Uh... Where are you? Is it snowing? I'm sorry, Gillian. I can't tell you. They've taken our boy hostage. Our boy? Who? Professor Modner is here, too. Jamie, what are you talking about? 
I'm so sorry. Snatcher! Gillian! We have Professor Lorraine. We only require her cooperation for a short period here at the Kremlin. So for now, I suggest you avoid doing anything foolish, Professor Seed. End of Act 2. Well, that was a long one. I uh, hope you've um, enjoyed this and uh, join me for the final part act of well, Act 3. <laughs>